Juliana with Pearl Together, and I'm here with Rebecca from the Needlepoint Joint in Ogden, Utah. So you all know by now, if you've watched the channel with any regularity at all, Needlepoint Joint is one of my favorite, well, it is my favorite yarn store on the planet, but one of my, in general, favorite small businesses is the, what I was getting at. So during this time of COVID, we're all trying to support our small businesses. So I'm teaming up with Needlepoint Joint to bring you this felted clog knit along. And this was a really spur of the moment, but you know, they're always game to do something fun. Sure. <laughs> yeah, so Rebecca has agreed to meet with me and put together a little deal for all of us and a little giveaway and some suggestions for the felted clog knit along. So welcome, thanks for spur of the moment joining me. I emailed you and I'm like, hey, do you wanna meet up this afternoon, do a little video and you're like, sure. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm always down for irresponsible decisions. Oh, this is this is not irresponsible. Slippers are a good thing. They're a very good thing. They're the best thing. They're snug. Yes. I feel like it's a responsible thing to do to make yourself slippers for the upcoming winter. So Farmer's Almanac says this winter is going to be harsh. I don't know if I believe it, but there's a little chill in the mornings in the wind in Wyoming right now. So I wish. They keep saying it's going to be in the 70s. I'll believe it when I see it. It was 55 when I did chores this morning. And yeah. it was windy. So I was like, oh, maybe I should get a hoodie. Yeah. Yeah. So well, that's fantastic. Well, it's 2020. So harsh is probably the best way to describe it, every part of it. But you can help mitigate the effects of 2020 and the crappiness of this year by knitting yourself some cozy felted slippers. And these and are the slippers. I love them. I have made... I looked at my Ravelry project page. I've made over 30 pair over the years. I mean, that's over the course of probably eight, nine years, but yeah, love it. And I don't think I've, I mean, I, the paper pattern I have is from the beginning. I mean, I don't know if it's ever been updated, but it works for me. So yeah. Yeah. I, I, that's the one I have. It's like on the blue paper with the, yes, with the photo. Yeah. Classic. yeah. It's been updated since then. Ooh, fancy. I don't know. Mine works great. Fantastic. So Rebecca has brought a bunch of ideas, different ideas for yarn that you can use. When I did my introductory announcement vid video the other day, I hadn't even talked to you yet. My mom had given me a whole bunch of Brown Sheep Company yarn. She was like doing this purge out of her craft room. So she gave me all this. And so in trade for her giving me all this yarn, I said I'd make her clogs because she wore holes in the bottoms of hers. So, but you showed, I'm super tempted now because you just flashed some stuff up. Oh, what's that? I'm, I'll have to decide if I'm going to splurge a little, <laughs> do something different or not. I, I'm, I'm, I can be quite the temptress. <laughs> you are. You're an enabler. Totally. Yeah. So when you, actually, when you called me about this, I was super excited because these are our shop slippers and they've been it's been popular since this, the pattern came out like everybody oh, yeah. loves and people will, the copyright is but it's been out a long time it's been out a long time and every year every, people come in and just get stacks of yarn and they make these for christmas for everybody they know yes and really like i've i mean i've done the pattern many 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 times and it's like i said like 30 times so i mean i know what i'm doing i i mean i still have to look at the pattern because i don't do it off enough to have it memorized however you can bust out a pair if you understand the pattern and you know where you're going with it and you know what you're doing you can easily do a pair in three or four days like yeah. really because mm -hmm. it's bulky i mean it's big needles and it goes pretty quickly yeah yeah oh i just checked two thousand this is a 20 year old pattern and it has stood the test of time totally here hold those up like close so we can see the because it looks dark see how fuzzy and lovely that is and they're super sturdy. Yeah. They're fantastic gifts. So we've talked a little bit about, um, this is a paid for pattern. So we'll put the link down below where you can download your own. And you can also get a shop copy. You have, you said you have a few hard copies if people want that. Yeah, we okay. have a few hard copies and we've made the digital copy available on the website where we can send it to you as well. Excellent. So show us some options for yarn. So... The shop favorite for this is Plymouth Galway. It 
it's just, it's a good quality worst weight wool. We use it for sweaters. We use it for tons of stuff, but it holds up really well. It felt like a dream. These were made with Galway. Okay. Um, and it's nice and soft and squishy. So this is our pre- our pre-felted and post-felted slipper. Oh, but like this, we can see the size difference. Wow. Yeah, that's going to be... So, wow. That's awesome. So this is our shop favorite. It's, it's, it's good. It's economical. It comes in a ton of colors. Yeah. So you can customize. It. Yeah, like I said, people come in and do them for Christmas, and everybody gets their own colors of slippers and sports team or school colors and... So what's yeah. the yardage? What's the yardage on that? On the Galway? So the yardage on these is 210 yards per ball. Okay. And it is nine dollars a ball. So you can easily get a pair of slippers, two color slippers for 30 bucks. Yeah. So it makes it's very economical and it's so it makes it a nice Christmas gift. Right. So we've talked I touched on this in the last video a little bit where you're gonna need you know, the pattern tells the yardages and the, it tells you the yardages on the Fiber Trends website and also on the, uh, I think on the Ravelry page. So obviously your yardage depends on the size and that yardage is accounting for you to hold it double. It's worsted it held double. So it's accounting for that. So if you have say 650 yards that you need for, I think that's the, I'll have to look, I don't have it in front of me, but that's the women's large, I think, which is like size 10 ish. Women's size 10 is 650. 580 for women's large. Okay. So two thirds of that needs to be the sole that the color that you want for the sole and the cup. And then only one third is the top of the foot. And people think that that's opposite, but it's not because these are doubles. You knit two soles for each foot, each slipper. So it's super thick and cushy and it wears well. Oh. It's kind of hard to see because this is a dark slipper, but you can see how there's another sole attached there. Yeah. That makes it double thick. Oh, there's Love it. Good. Love it. And I'm going to do some technique videos. I'm not going to walk people through step by step the pattern because it's a paid for pattern, but I'm going to do some technique videos like three needle bind off and how we're going to do a three needle bind off and, and then knit that bumper around the bottom and how we do the cuff and just some tech, you know, the wrap and turn and stuff like that. It's not, it's not hard at all. It just trips up people a little bit if they're more beginner ish knitters. So I'll be doing some videos to help with that. Um, but yeah, lots of fun. Love them. You could easily do several pairs between now and Christmas for sure. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. So uh, we had a lady last year who did a dozen pairs in the month before Christmas. Wow. That's all yep. she does, watch Netflix and make slippers. <laughs> Netflix and slipper knit. Yeah. So you have the Galway. That's a shop favorite, a good workhorse worsted weight. It comes in a bunch of different colors. And then what are some other options? So the other ones that I thought of were, so if you kind of want something a little more sumptuous, this is the Barocco Ultra Alpaca. And I made me feel like fall. I, I really want fall. And it is a 50-50 alpaca wool blend. Oh, and alpaca wow. wool blends will felt, and they felt nicely. They yeah. do take a little bit more time, though. But it's kind of the same situation as Galway in that there's 200 yards of skein, and these are $13 a skein. Okay. Right. So for most sizes, you could buy two of the sole color and then one of the contrasting top of the foot color. So you right. do three skins depending on your size double check your yardage um the next ones i have are a little more luxurious we'll say but they're good felting wools um so we have if you want to stick with the worsted weight so we have watershed from harrisville designs and it's a beautiful tweedy i wish my light was better in here but it's a beautiful tweedy oh right there yeah maybe a little closer that's I love that dark. There you go. Oh, I like, I love that dark. Oh, see that would, oh, now you can see the Tweety. That'd be great. Yeah. Tons of beautiful colors in it. And we really like this, not only because it's their, their mill is fully sustainable, but they're using the proceeds for this, from this yarn to help rebuild their original water wheel. Wow. That's cool. Yeah. 
So it's a great yarn. Um, watershed is 110 yards. And I'm sorry, I should have been more prepared. Oh, that's great. Right. So you would need- I believe it's $10 a skein. Okay. So you're gonna need more skeins, obviously, because it's, you know, like roughly half the yardage of the others. That's right. fantastic. Those yeah, so you would need more yardage, but there's another option, and that's the Harrisville turbine. Ooh. And this is oh, the neat. same thing, but it's in a bulky weight. Right. And these are also 110 yards. But you don't have to hold it double if you're going to knit bulky. Right. There's you can hold it single. And, and the advantage of not having things twist around and having to go like this with your cakes and skeins and stuff, you can just knit that singly. Right. So, and again, at 110 yards, when you divide that yardage in half, yeah. it's three balls yeah. and these yeah. are 14 a ball. So it's still, you can get that really nice tweedy. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's super nice and they're, they'd be good for like a special pair, like, I don't know, like a manly pair, maybe. You know how guys like tweed? Or for yourself. Or for yourself. Yeah, there's some beautiful colors in this, too. Really beautiful. And they're all feathered and tweedy, and oh, they're gorgeous. So before we hit record, Rebecca and I were talking about how, you know, a little self-care is not a bad thing. And when you have kids and a husband and all this stuff, you know, we we're talking about, like, the ways moms hide their snacks. Like, you put stuff in the freezer and hide it in the broccoli bag or, you know, things in the bottom of your desk drawer well, I don't know, people might look in your desk, but there, self -care, there's nothing wrong with a little self-care. So if you need to make a pair of slippers out of squishy, luxurious yarn for yourself, that's fine. So then you can wear your slippers while you're knitting them for everyone else. Right. Because you want to be comfortable while you're knitting for other people, right? Well, I mean, you can always do like what I do, and I knit for myself in the very best, and everybody else gets kind of, but okay. <laughs> Because I can trust me. If I ruin it, it's my fault. If they ruin it, it's their fault. I can trust me. That's our takeaway. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, so all this stuff is available like now on the website. Mm -hmm. So if people want to order, they would go to, ooh, show us that. I have one more option. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's so lovely. This is the Croft. It's by West Yorkshire Spinners. And oh. West Yorkshire Spinners um, was given permission. And I, I've got to tell you this little story. So we went to market when we found this yarn. And the, the representatives from West Yorkshire Spinners were there. And they were just the cutest things in the world. And, you know, thick Yorkshire accents and just adorable, so sweet. And they told us the story about this. So this is very special because they are one of the only places, actually they are the only other place other than the Shetland Islands that Jameson has allowed their wool to be shipped to and spun. So this is actually Jameson's wool. Okay. And designed by the West Yorkshire Spinners. Um, and it's 182 yards a, a hank. Okay. And it comes in some beautiful speckled colors and some beautiful solid colors, and it will felt beautifully. So I'm thinking if it's 182, if you're knitting smaller sizes or even children's sizes, you could get by with a little less, you know, if you have little feet or, yeah. So yeah. check, just the moral of the story here is check the pattern yardage. And then decide what works best for you because all the stuff is on the website and you have the yardage is listed there and fiber contents and colors and all that. Well, and the nice part is even though some of the more luxurious options are, you know, they are, they're, they're really nice yarns. I mean, every one of these is a nice yarn, but they're still all affordable. This one's fourteen fifty a skein. Okay. Yeah. And some people will say that sounds expensive for yarn that you're going to felt and throw in the washer. But let me tell you this. Your feet will thank you. And these these are not just going to last one season. If you don't wear them outside on your concrete sidewalk, these are going to, th these slippers will last years easily. So, yeah. I mean, people don't think anything about spending a hundred bucks for a pair of shoes. 
So spending 50 ish for a pair of slippers for yourself that are is gonna last like five winters. Yeah. It really is, yeah. And I, I, we have a lady who's come in before and she's like, I've started to wear through my slippers. I've had them for five years. And she'll go home and she'll needle felt new bottoms on them. <laughs> she's like, I yeah. love them so yeah. much. You know, I've actually, I've, well, there's a couple things I've done to repair slippers that I have worn through the bottoms. I have sewn together a patch for the hole that I've created, usually in the ball of my foot or the heel. But then mm -hmm. I've also knitted one more sole and I've stitched that and I felted it to fit and then I sewed it on the outside. Oh, that's a good idea, yeah. But, so I've done that a couple times. And then one another time I like cut off the sole, re-knitted a sole, felted it and then sew, sewed it onto the... But then I realized, you know what? That is all a ton of work and logistically it was a nightmare. So I may as well just make a new pair. <laughs> The other thing I really like to do with them, and I did this for my kids when they were younger, because you know they're they're wool, so they can be a little slippy. Um, if you have like a slippery floor, and we lived in an older home with hardwood floors. Yeah. yeah. So I would paint puffy paint on the right. bottom to give them grip. Yep. Yep. You can also buy. Uh, I don't know if you guys have them in your shop or not, but I've seen where you can buy the suede soles and then sew them on after the fact. Now, if you were going to do that, you would not knit that extra bumper along the bottom if you were going to put the soles on. So, and that tells about that in the pattern. Yeah. We do have some. Um, and if somebody's looking for something specific, they can just call us. Yeah. And I'm sure they can locate them. So, yeah. A. So, how do people go about doing this? Getting what they want? So you'll just go into our website. You'll pick whichever, you know, whichever yarn you like. Um, you can, I'm, there will be some links that um, I'm going to give to Jana for each of these yarns. Um, there's also, there will also be a link for if you want a paper copy of the pattern. And then we were talking about this with Jana. And we're like, you know, we should do something kind of fun. And, um, you know, here at Needlepoint Joint, we are not just knitting. We do all kinds of stuff. We do obviously needlepoint, embroidery, spinning, weaving, felting, lace making, tatting, pretty much everything but cross stitch and quilting. So, so we thought of, we were trying to decide, you know, how to make this a little bit more fun. And one of the things that we've really liked to do in the past, and I don't have one here, but is to embellish the slippers when we're done with them and to make them personalized and make them a little bit more fun. So what we did was we put together a little embellishment kit. So you can decorate your slippers after you're done. You can decorate. I've never and, done that. Oh, it is a blast. You can put flowers, you can put whatever you want on them. And yeah, it's really cool. So we put together a little kit for embroidering or needle felting on your slippers. Cool. And we're going to hold a giveaway for this little kit. So. Um, We've created a code, Jana Slippers, and if you put that in uh, when you check out, um, you're entered for a drawing on, I think we're going to draw on September 14th Okay. for this little kit. So if people put in that code, when they order, not only are they supporting small business, yay, and your my local-ish yarn store, my favorite yarn store, local or not. So not only are they supporting you, but that little code helps track the sales and it helps support the channel too. So win-win, right? Absolutely. And, and you get an entry to win the kit you're gonna show us. So I love prizes. I love prizes. Here's what we've got so far. I can't guarantee that I might not find some additional things to throw in this as we go. So it's going to start out with this cute little never not knitting felt bag, which you could actually felt onto, needle felt onto and customize yourself. But it's a really cute little notions bag and it's nice and sturdy. Yes. And we've added in a huge selection of Waverly wool yarn from Brown Sheep, which we love to use for stitching and cruel work. Um, it's a strandable three ply yarn, so you can really get crazy with your customization. So you can either felt this on, or we're gonna include a little set of cruel needles for cool. embroidery. And I've included um, some heavier needles and some lighter needles, so you can do different types of embroidery on your slippers. We're also gonna send a 
wool pets, foam felting mat. So if you decide to felt, you can use that to kind of stick in your slipper and needle felt. Yeah. A little pack of felting needles. That's exciting. A gumball pack from Fragis Fibers with all different colors. That's so fun. And I've even put in a, I've been collecting a little bag of like buttons and beads oh, and things cool. like that. So Look that you that's can so add cool. those onto your slippers as well. You know so, what? I'm so excited. I'm going to decorate my slippers. I've never, why have I never, I've made 30 pairs and never done that. Why have you never decorated your slippers, Jana? Because I'm not that creative. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have my kids do it. Yeah. Well, you know, it, I think it, it's just fun. And these are like the perfect canvas to throw some embellishment onto. Yes. That's amazing. That What a wonderful giveaway. That's fan. How creative of you to think of that. Oh. <laughs> I think you're awesome. That's what a wonderful idea. Ooh, we should have a live thing like a live giveaway drawing. Oh, we could do that. Yeah. Oh, that would be really fun. I know. Yay. All right. So again, if people want to order, there are all kinds of links down, down in the video description. Enter the code. When, upon checkout, you'll want to enter the code Jana Slipper, and then you'll be automatically entered because she'll have, your system will have all the person's information You'll be entered in the giveaway for all the kit decorating, slipper decorating, fantastic stuff. And in the background, I will be a little drawing entry elf and I will put all of their names on a little slip and we have a great big vase that I draw things out of. It is so much fun. We should do that live. Yes. yes. We should. Let's do it live. That'll be really fun. Okay. We can vana it up. So the other thing we want to talk about real quick is shipping. So when you place your order, you'll see options for shipping and you can, you know, add other things. You guys have a fantastic selection. So you can add a whole bunch of other stuff in there. If you want free shipping, there's a threshold, but normally you ship priority mail and you guys are quick. I mean, if you place your order, it should go out the next day, unless you're closed, right? Right. The next day, unless we're closed or unless the mailman gets here right at right when we open. And sometimes on those days, we'll even take things right to the post office that day. So. Right. So you guys are really, you're fast about it. And despite all of the delays that we've seen, or, or you're hearing in the news about USPS and problems and the political stuff that's going on, whatever, really, there might be a slight delay and there might not. Kind of like you said, depending on where the recipient lives and all of that. But what I wanted to make sure that people understand is you can order and be entered in the giveaway up until the 14th of, of up until or including the 14th of September. Up in, So we're going to do the drawing on the 14th of September. Okay. So you need to have your orders in by 1159 on the 13th. <laughs> okay. But the other thing about it is, is we're casting on September 4th. All that means is my video will, my begin first video in the series will be live. I cast on whenever you want. It doesn't, there's not a big rush here. We're going to be fall knitting and we want everybody to be relaxed about it. And we're going to be available on the Facebook and the Ravelry group to answer any questions that people have. So don't stress. If you can't cast on on the 4th, it's fine. Place your order whenever you can up till the 14th, thir midnight, the 13th, mountain time. By the way, that's mountain daylight time. Yes, mountain time. But don't stress about it. So if you can't order this week and you got to wait till next week, it's fine. Yeah. I just wanted to say, don't worry. Yeah, and when, when your orders come in, we we wander around the store like little shop elves and fairies. and it's magic. it's magic. There's glitter and rainbows. And unicorns. And unicorns. <laughs> oh, and if you guys haven't watched the video that I did with Rebecca before the Campside Cardi, like look back at the Campside Cardi playlist where Rebecca has a unicorn sweater. It's fantastic. I'll put that link down below just so people can go look at the sweater. It's an amazing sweater, if I do say so myself. It is. Because by now everyone's wondering, you have to explain the painting behind you about the historic place and the Halloween-y cereal characters. 
So one of our local artists um, does these fantastic paintings of local places or things that you recognize, and he adds in crazy characters. I'll, I'll have to send you the picture that we, the painting that we have in the office. You'll love it. But um, this is historic place on 25th Street. Yep. Um, it is a dive bar that has been around forever. And when I tell you it's a dive bar, it truly is a dive. In the best kind of way. The best kind of way. Cheap drinks. The bathrooms are questionable. Just everything you want in a dive bar. Um, pool table. It's wonderful. So, so yeah, we have our uh, Count Chocula, Frankenberry, and Booberry. Nice. Hanging out at the uh, historic place. And... Any given night, you may actually find them hanging out there. That's fantastic. So all of this is ready to go. I'm going to upload this video as soon as possible. Thanks for joining me this afternoon on this spur of the moment and putting all that together and making all this possible. You guys are awesome. It's always so fun to work with you on knit alongs. I love it. Absolutely. Like I said, we love doing crazy stuff. So. Cool. See you later. Bye.